What's up, y'all? It's your girl, D. Simone here. I just stopped by really quick because something was heavy on my mind today. I was having a discussion with someone, and it really, really, it really humbled me uh, after I walked away. And my question is, do you want to know one thing that will humble you real quick? And that's listening to someone else's story. Many times we get caught up in our own lives, our own little world, our own little group of people um, that we allow in our world, our friends, our family, close uh, associates, what have you. Whatever that little group is that we don't give ourselves an opportunity to broaden our perspective, to see outside of our box, step outside of the box, our box, and walk in another person's shoes. If we did that more often, we will come to realize that what we have is sufficient. What we have is sufficient. If you have food, shelter, clothing, life, health, love, family, friends, what we have is sufficient. And, and it's more than enough. So please do not misunderstand me. That's not to say we shouldn't desire more. That's not to say take on a lack or scarcity mindset. I'm not saying that at all. Of course, we all desire more of something, whatever that something is. Um, and it's our right. It's our natural born right to seek or desire prosperity and abundance, right? Okay. However, however, we cannot discount, dismiss, or criticize ourselves for what we do not have, did not acquire, unable to acquire, or what we think would add value to us as a person material thing will ever add value to your character and who you are as a person. Anyway, that's a whole nother discussion. So at the end of the day, no matter how bad you think you may be doing or how little you think you may have, if you step outside the box and have conversations with other people, you will discover <laughs> you are doing better, better than many. So I'll leave you with this. As I walked away from that conversation I had with an individual and I, and I walked away like, wow, really? It really made me look at myself and it really made me check myself. So I wanted to come and share with you that uh, in all things, we all should operate and move through our day, through our lives, through our dealings, having more of an attitude of gratitude, peace. Until next time.